Hey everybody, it's Franklin Taggart again from Franklin Taggart Coaching and Consulting. Um, also had a request for how to uh, embed um, an album from either Spotify or from Bandcamp or from any of the other music streaming services, how to embed an album onto your blogger website. And so I'll just go through that really quickly with you. Um, the first thing, I, I've opened three windows here. I've opened up my blogger dashboard. I've opened up uh, an album on Bandcamp that I want to upload to my music page. And I've opened up another album on Spotify that I appear on that I would like to add to uh, my music page. So I, the first place I'm going to start is Blogger. And what I need to do there, I'm going to post this on my music page. And you can see there's already a bunch of stuff on my music page. Can't really tell what it is from this page, but I can look at a preview to see what I've got on there already. And so far what I've got is I've got a couple of, uh, couple of pieces of music that uh, are on my Reverb Nation page. And then I've got songs for Hearts and Horses. The one cut that I did on that album is on there. And then I've got my whole Falling All the Way album on there. I want to add these other two albums. So I'm going to add them actually after Falling All the Way. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the preview, go back to my window here. Now, I need to be in my HTML view rather than in my Compose view. So I go up to the upper left-hand corner of the page where the little pencil icon is and I click on the arrow next to it. I don't want compose view for this. I do want HTML because we're going to be copying JavaScript code from both um, of the places where we're going. Now the first one that I'm going to um, put in is, let's see, actually I want to put a little space in there first. So let me put a space in between the the last one and the first one. So to do that, I'll go back to my compose view. I'll enter my cursor at the right side of the last um, entry and I'll click enter just so that I'll have an extra space at the bottom of the page. So then I can go to HTML again and you'll notice that there's a division now at the end where I just put that space in at the bottom of the page. So the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, upload the songs for Hearts and Horses. I'm going to embed that on uh, the page. So I'm in Bandcamp. This is the Bandcamp page for Songs for Hearts and Horses, which is an album that I produced back in uh, 2013 as a benefit album uh, to benefit this great uh, therapeutic writing center here in Colorado called Hearts and Horses. We had six different people that gave songs and I included one of them. Um, I've already done the single for this on there, but I want people to have access to the whole thing on my page. So the way that I do that is I go over here just underneath the image for the album and I click on share slash embed. And what happens is that I get a code down here. Um, I, can, I can put it in any of these places like Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr, but I want to actually embed this album on my website. It gives you three different layout options. You can do it as a like an individual song. You can do it as a little bit bigger um, individual song or you can do the whole album and that's what I want to do here I want to embed the whole album so I'm gonna click on that um, that particular uh, emblem so the style that I want to have is this one right here and I do want to show the track list I want to show the artwork you can see this is how it's going to look when you see the um, when you see the player on your page. I do want the player in there so that people can play it right from my blogger page. I don't want to have them have to leave my page in order to do that. Now this is an HTML um, code. It's JavaScript. So I can just go right up to here and I am going to click on the code in this little window up here that says embed. It, it highlights the whole thing when you just click on it. I'm going to control C to copy it good is done and then I'm going to go back to my music page and I'm going to paste right there on the bottom of the page um, I put my cursor at the bottom and I'm going to insert my um, my new code there let me just go ahead and go back to the compose view now and what we'll see is that we already see a placer there for the compose view 
And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did before to put a spacer in between this one and the next one that I'm going to do because I'm going to go ahead and add the Spotify version of the other album that we're, I was on. This is Paul Chet and the Whiskey Chickens Baked Not Fried that just came out in 2019. Um, I'm going to embed that one on the page as well. Now, the way that you install an embed from, uh, from Spotify is when you look at the album um, listing. Underneath the album listing, there are these, th these three little dots right here. And so what I'm going to do is to click on those three little dots, and it opens a drop-down menu. And I'm going to go down to Share. I'm going to copy the embed code. The link for the embed code has been copied to um, the uh, clipboard. I'll go back to my uh, page. Now, I'm not in HTML view right now. I am in Compose, so I need to get to HTML. I'll click on the little button up here in the upper left-hand corner. Go to HTML view. Again, I want to make sure that my cursor is at the very end of the page. So. I'll put my cursor there, and then I will go ahead and paste the uh, iframe for the other. So just for kicks, I want to preview the page to see what it's going to look like. I'll click on Preview. And as I go down to the bottom of the page where I inserted those two things, I should see Songs for Hearts and Horses and Baked Not Fried. They're, they're both in the place where I want them to be. And that's all there is to it. So to recap, um, you need to open up your Blogger dashboard. And you'll, you'll need to open up uh, either the Bandcamp or the Reverb Nation or the Spotify page, wherever it is that you're going to be getting your, your embed code from. And you'll go, to, um, you'll go to the album that you want to embed. Underneath the album artwork, you'll look for the share embed button, or in this case of Spotify, you'll look for the three little dots and go to the share function and copy embed code. You're going to copy your embed code, go back to your blogger dashboard, and make sure you're in the HTML view. And you'll paste your code right into the HTML view. You can preview it to make sure that it looks the way that you want it to. And when you are ready to go, just click the Update button in the upper right-hand corner. It's the orange button. It says Update. And that is all there is to it. Now let's go back. And this time we're going to view the blog and go to the Music page. And what we'll see is that those two albums now are showing up on my music page. People can now listen to the entire album of both of them, um, and they won't have to go looking for them anywhere. They can do it right on my website. So that's how you would insert or embed um, an album player from one of your music pages onto your blogger page. Um, you can also do the same thing in a blogger post if you would want to have people access it through a post. You can do that. You also can do that with individual songs like these ones here were also um, embedded from those two from those different players. You can embed individual songs. You just have to have to navigate to the individual song and copy the code for the song, paste it on your page or in your post, and update the post or the page, and you're done. That's as easy as it gets. Um, Again, if you have any questions about this, you're welcome to get in touch with me, franklin at franklintaggart.com. Uh, if you have any requests for other tutorials related to Blogger or uh, to any of these different types of services that can be embedded on a Blogger website, feel free to ask uh, questions about that, and I'm happy to put together more tutorials for you. So thanks very much for watching, and have a great day.